Hi there! My name is Iriska and you are watching Iriska Fashion Lab. And as required, today I will test Vance and old school model. Previously I have already tested Vance, its basic model authentic. That's why some tips might be similar. So tip number one, packing. So let's start from the paper box. It can be red or black color or even mix of it. Well, both boxes have an informative sticker, model name and a size are mentioned here. Seems like fake producers are aware of the importance of an informative sticker. But let's check the barcode. For this purpose you can use different software available on the Internet. I use QuickScan. So, we can see that it works. And I am linked to a website with a proper Vans model, which I am gonna test today. Now let's come closer to another box. Seems like I can see it like this forever, but the barcode won't work, as it's just a painting, informative art. Except the box, packing also includes a packing paper, so let's examine it. Here we have it, and it's branded. What's about the second box? Okay, okay, <laughs> I'm kidding. Frankly speaking, there was no paper here. Look at this small round sticker with a country producer card on it. From the schedule above, you can see that CLK means Cambodia. By the way, authentic fans are produced in Southeast Asia countries. And on another box? There is no sticker. Tip number two, lacing. In authentic pair, the seller has laced one shoe. Usually they are not, only a premium line. But it's not that important. Better pay attention on the eyelids number. Authentic pair has eight and a copy seven. Guess they're trying to save each cent. Tip number three, external view. Authentic pants deny glue marks, loose threads and rough joints. In proof of these words, I take the knockoff and therewith show the glue marks. But nevertheless, there are no loose threads. Concerning the rough joints, on the fake pair, the toe protector is too close to a black decorative line. It really looks rude and badly done. In authentic pair, everything is done by rule and line. Tip number four, logo. Old school model has two logos. One you can see on the sole, another on the insole. By the way, logo on the sole can be white on the red, background and black on the white one. Here is a copy, no questions to the rare logo, a surprise is waiting for us on the insole. As instead of a logo, we can see some kind of a watermark, and it's not a good sign. Tip number five, the tongue cutout and fabric. If you compare the width of tons, you'll see that fake one is wider and the internal fabric is not nice and touch. While in authentic pair, this fabric is visually smooth and nice to feel. Well done! In real vans, on the internal side of a ton, there is an info label with a size and country producer on it. In fake pair, this information is not located on a level, it's just painted. Tip number six, the sole. The sole pattern is almost the same, except its color. 
Also, in Authentic Pair, in one of the sections of the Baft Soul, you'll mention the country producer code. But it's not a 100 percentage guarantee, as a lot of counterfeit producers are imitating it. Now, I will share a secret trick with you. If you slide down your fingers like this, at one moment you will feel two dots, and it's a good sign. But take into account that these dots might be well shaped. Tip number seven – heel counter. A good firm heel counter helps to lock the foot into the shoe. In fake it's soft and less functional. Tip number 8 – general cutout. In real vans the inseam goes through the additional textile element, unlike in fake. Tip number 9 – price. Authentic vans will cost you approximately 55 dollars or 75 euros, while for a fake you will pay 30 dollars. If you compare the price you will get almost a double difference, but I still recommend you to choose real vans for enjoying its quality and comfort. You were watching Iriska Fashion Lab. Hope these tips will be useful for you. Leave your new requests in comments, subscribe to my channel. See you!